guys, it's Ashley, and today we are talking about Dating an Alien Pop Star by Kendra L. Saunders, which is why I'm wearing my purple sweater, even though it's like 85 degrees outside. So let's get the business stuff out of the way first. I got this book in exchange for a review from the publisher through Booktube Tours, which is organized by Grace from Loving Dem Books. Details are down below. All this week, this book is touring Booktube, stopping at several different channels. I will leave links down below. There is also a giveaway organized around this book, so I will leave all the details for that down below. Be sure to check it out. It closes sometime fairly soon, I think. So good at this. So without further ado, let's actually talk about the book itself, shall we? This book follows 29-year-old Daisy, who has left her small town life and run away for the glamour of New York City so that she can be around the music scene. On her way to one of her dead-end jobs, she meets Griffin and Dev, who have all the appearances of being British pop stars. They've got the accents, the clothes, the attitude, everything that you need. However, she quickly learns that they are actually aliens from outer space, and they abduct her to be Griffin's personal stylist. Now I say abduct because she doesn't really fight it. She goes pretty willingly. I mean, if you're faced with a hot guy who says that he's an alien and wants you to help dress him, you might go along. If nothing else, just to see if he's telling the truth before you decide he's crazy. And from there, there's a little romance, there's a little political intrigue, there's a whole lot of stuff that goes into this book. I gave this book three out of five stars. It fell in the middle for me. It wasn't horrible. It was wasn't fantastic, but it was definitely enjoyable. It reads like a YA, which is something I like. It had a little bit more steam than a YA, so kind of bordering on NA. But then our protagonist is 29 years old, which falls under the adult section. So it was kind of like crossing genres. I think it's being billed as YA, but I really, really enjoyed having a protagonist that was my own age. That was a huge plus for me. It was very nice to have an adult protagonist, but still have it read like YA. That was just wonderful for me because obviously I like YA. That's a lot of what I read. Overall, this was just a really fun story. It would be perfect for the beach, perfect for a quick, fun read that you don't want to get too deep, but you also don't want it to be too boring. This is the book for you. It did make me laugh out loud at a couple points. There was one, I just got to read this sentence to you. It says, you've never known true fear until you've worn glorified silver tissue paper to a meeting between your alien friends and a secret society. I laughed. I laughed out loud. It was very funny to me. And there were several like one-liners in there that I enjoyed a lot. The reasons that I took off stars and didn't make it five stars is I just didn't love the story. I didn't fully connect with it the way I like to connect with stories. The writing style wasn't my favorite. I found it to be kind of choppy, but that's really a personal preference. There was nothing wrong with the writing or with the story. It just didn't connect with me personally. I did really like how Kendra did aliens. They were very humanoid, except for very small features like the glowing eyes I thought was a cool touch. I also really liked how their powers weren't just like superhero powers where they were just infinite and they could do whatever and no consequences. I liked that it drained them and that they needed that that power source and that if they worked too hard that they would lose their power and have to recharge. I thought that was a really clever aspect of the alien species developed in this book. I also really enjoyed the seeing into each other thing. I thought that was a really nice touch. One other thing that I didn't like about this was I felt like we didn't have enough history from Daisy. She mentions early on in the book that her last relationship was really crappy, borderline abusive, and didn't go too in-depth. And then when she and Griffin are having fun sexy times, she starts to get afraid and he tells tells her, you know, don't think of him. And it makes it seem like there was something really big and important about that relationship for Daisy and for her past and that's affecting her future. But we never really found out about that. It never went into depth. But I would have really liked to hear that backstory and see why it played out the way it did in her current life. See how they had to overcome that in their relationship. I think that would have been a really cool touch. If that was there, that may have gotten more stars for me. I just like backstory. I like knowing the characters. I like seeing them overcome stuff. However, I understand why it's not there because the book definitely would not have been as lighthearted as it is. It would have definitely been a bit darker, a bit more emotional, and I don't think that was the point of this book. So that was really like the only big problem that I had with the book is I wanted to know what happened with that past relationship and why that was such a big deal. So overall this was an enjoyable book, perfect for at the beach or if you just want something light to read, or if you've never read an alien book and you're looking to branch into that sort of thing, this would be a good start because the aliens aren't totally crazy and strange, they're very humanoid. It was lighthearted, it was fun, but it still had enough depth that you weren't completely bored. It also moved quickly and yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've read Dating an Alien Pop Star, let me know down below what your favorite part was or if you have not, let me know what your favorite alien book is. The only other one I've read is the Lux series. I'm halfway through that still. But I think it's a really fun genre, so I'd be interested in hearing more alien books that are really good. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you later. Bye!